I know say I turn and I say we get one better interview with one uh, better person who will give us some kind of update on some kind of things with Shelley recently. And I know say this thing don't be the trend for quite some time now on social media and it has been a national concern, a thing of national concern. We'll be speaking to Adeni Kunu, he's uh, a public affairs analyst and we're going to be talking about uh, the rape case of Uwa and uh, the Tina gone down by the Nigerian police force on the mainland. Hello, Oga Adeni, welcome to the Good Morning Niger Show. Now, good morning. No, how about you? We are, are doing well, here? sir. We are doing very well, sir. How your side, Oga? Happy new month and uh, happy well, new week. <laughs> uh, uh, happy, happy everything. Happy okay, everything. You know, every. All right, sir. Yes, uh, now, yeah. the conversation uh, we want to talk about the very, very uh, delicate and, and I think of national concern uh, regarding the uh, rape case. May we even start from that one? Uh, the rape case of Uwa, a 22 year old girl way day for a uh, way day uni ben, 100 level students way this thing shelly on top and uh, may we even begin from there how the matter how you take see this matter and uh, from the concerns where you want put on ground regarding make her first of all explain give those with the listen hmm. every girl child now potential person with it enter that kind of problem you know, the sadness we say, as nature, first of all, creates us. Women naturally are tender. And, bec and because of how they they, they know they are physically, not mentally, physically strong as men. Mm -hmm. So you go find out, say, oftentimes, people, they take advantage of that nature's Nature's bequeathing on women, mm -hmm. where we say it no supposed to be so. I beg now when it become crime, say person carry a book, go read for somewhere. Mm -hmm. So they then rape the person till death. See when I when I when I see that story, the thing just it just it just shatter me completely. Mm -hmm. And what me what me I expect make them do for this country be say. Make them begin to add inside curriculum of all our schools, even for house, mm. how we suppose they treat two women. Because when people know understand, say women now part of society will complement us, then go they do what in the criminal against them. Mm. Mm. So, so now, now what really shut me. So when anybody will look woman. We be say what's in come in mind now how to sleep with them. Now from where the problem they start with that. When you look woman, where you know if you see any value other than say make you sleep with a woman, now problem with that. Hmm. When you see woman, you supposed to think of say I'm say this now fellow woman being as myself. Hmm. Where they add value to the country, where I feel follow do something. So for me. Many people for this country get that problem. And until we see them as national wahala, we we'll never come up for the issue. Hmm. Now, as, as, as this thing take happens, so, and people don't uh, raise eyebrow regarding the situation, and people, they, 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 they wonder how they won't take a uh, cop this kind situation for this country now because uh, a lot of times this is not the one we will even hear about because uh, as they say talk I mean, a lot of women undergo this kind of situations and they, they feel no even feel talk about them they are, they are not able to come out to speak up so how we go fit to tackle this matter head zone how we feel no say okay we go stop this kind of bad way they happen for the country what will be the advice where you go feel give as a Now to include how to relate with a woman hmm. curriculum. When it is that go, oftentimes it they begin from area away. Like I say, we get small network issue. The network they come, they go. Uh, okay. Uh, well, um, um, we will see if we go fit, if we, if we reconnect on top of that matter because let's say we get small network uh, problem, but uh, the conversation still did here. We will see if we like to, to talk about this thing. Women. May I know like for you? All right, sir. As we talk, so yes. Yeah. Okay, for I can. Nigeria, like where it be say, that's right. 
way they don't make into law mm -hmm. by many states for this country. They never feed them since 2003. Okay. So if they pass the child rights law for this country since 2003, mm -hmm. we, we say well over 11, 12, or 13 northern states still never adopt them. Mm -hmm. I will go to protect uh, the, the girl child. Now, the question where the answer be that, you know, could it possible? You know, could it possible to protect the girl child? Do you hear me? You yes, I hear you. I deal with you, sir. I deal with you, sir. Go on. I hear you. For us. So. For I know be with past children or adopt the child rights law and waiting down the in circulation for this country since 2003. Mm -hmm. But about 11, 12, or 13 northern states still never adopt the child rights law. That means they don't no even see that child rights law as waiting be waiting the importance to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most many states for not still they give their children out in marriage at ages 13, 12, 14, 15. Mm. And this thing they have more among those when they really educated, because the children of the rich and the elites for the entire country. No go even give up their children for marriage unless that children finish maybe first and second degrees. Yes. So why you they talk of say to solve this problem? The problem they government and to solve. Hmm. No people they don't rape really person or they don't kill person. They go say we go take justice. Not lie. Hmm. Many of those states in question they never even adopt the law with the grant for them to adopt to take prevent the matter. Hmm. So okay. All the states, what would they talk about whenever I adopt the child rights law? May them go adopt them first. Across Nigeria, mm -hmm. there's a general agreement say we need to protect girls, we need to protect children. Then from there, we we'll go through the talk about issues of rape. Mm -hmm. So when states no believe, say they need to protect children, now they're going to do one. Mm, true, true, true. So as, as, as in this whole uh, situation take B now, and as you, you don't give this, uh, this uh, uh, probable solution, say me they adopt the child right laws. Looking at the other case we happened with uh, the 17 year old girl, Tina, where they, they shoot by mistake, where they talk in an accidental discharge. Uh, this one said this kind of case have not been the first time where this kind of thing they happen, and a lot of times um, we we would probably not see the case to the end of waiting to happen to the police officer where do this error or to the people where they involved in this um, situation. Speaking about that now, how would you say uh, we can actually okay follow this through? We have a situation where the the, the police officer talks in accidental discharge. Where you think say this problem there? Because I, I they talked to uh, Ezugu Chukudi earlier today, and then they talk about the mental health, uh, the mental capacity or the mental level of these uh, police officers. Where did they give gun? You understand? How would they take the evaluate them mentally? We don't know how did they, they for, for you to give person gun. You suppose don't trust them. Say he no go use them anyhow. So now a young girl was shot at the age of seventeen. Now, what do you, what do you go fit to talk about this issue? Which, which I don't, I don't tell people say many times if they recruit police, hmm. maybe then they do mental mental health assessment for them. Hmm. The reason why I talk so be say if you check our recruitment process, especially the lower cadre of those who be say that they employ. I find that say often times that we just carry all of them from talk say okay make them try you know give people when you get what work mm. so you go see people we never work for five years or ten years we won't work they go carry them join police and these people will be say for many years of frustration many of them don't develop some kind of attitude towards life mm -hmm. you can't carry go and give them so. One kind of power don't they their hand from people where they jobless to people where PC they feel used to finish person life. Yes. Then you never also check their mental situation. That's one another matter. Hmm. So so a situation where we say you don't know the mental health status of people where you give gun, they even feel shoot one another. 
Chebina, for this country, we see policemen, they fight one another, they yes. blow one another. Yes, if, yes. So, so, so if police, where they fight one another, fit be part of those who will protect that. Hmm. So this is not part of the thing we are try to talk, say, mental health of police officers is very, very important because you know we just carry gun give people where you know nowhere. And at the same time, when people commit such crime, yes, you must try as much as possible. So what I'm saying basically is when you talk about police, mm -hmm. you need to really do a proper assessment of the people where they be. And they also talk another thing here. What are they talk? We say they have to change the recruitment process, the recruitment process of those where they enter police. Mm -hmm. If you don't change the recruitment process of those people, we go continue to get this problem. And they always tell people, if you want to give person work, this country now where they employ people, we say many people know they do background check. Yes, a lot. Some a lot. people, if you don't commit crime, maybe they commit crime for... For one state, Zamfara. they come another they state. They go places like Sokoto, mm. or, or commit crime for Anambra. They go mm -hmm. or commit crime for Lagos. They go go Oshun State. Yes. They go go hide for there. Yes. When see opportunity open, they go forge. They go forge document. Forge documents. They get something from there. So these are the things we be say we suppose understand regarding this country. Mm. So if we no fit even do any of these things. We have to manage our data. For instance, since 2006, then we did the last census. And we conduct census every 10 years. Every 10 years, yes. So for Nigeria now, for instance, we don't even know the population every 10 years. So we, know, we suppose don't do one since 2016. Yes. We don't even consider census. We don't know the number of Nigerians within the country. So if you don't know the number of Nigerians, and you want to know the number of those who you say they employed, they unemployed, those where they seek, those where they're dependent on government. How you want to take do assessment of your security force mm -hmm. to take determine the kind of people where they're there. So it, these things no be rocket science. Now just determination on the part of government to say this problem where they ground, we need to address this wahala. Mm -hmm. If we no address this wahala, it go cause okay, that get don't die now. That's they so get away then key, we don't die now. Now, so the matter go be prolonged for the next five years. Hmm. They go say they sack police. When they sack police, they can't say, okay, they won't compensate the family. Maybe government go say, maybe they give the family 10 million naira. Mm -hmm. Now, you go find out again, say, by the time we say they go want to release the money, give the family, some mm -hmm. people along the line go want to come out three we'll or five million. Yes. So, yes. You, you can money. so, make nobody tell us, say, this is this not the reality of waiting with the face hmm. and until we try leave church leave mosque until we feel try say we be human beings and they get as human beings they take behave i will still continue now the reality hmm. make we not deceive ourselves hmm. and uh, based on the, the compensation level uh, where you just talk now uh, is there like a, is it is it cast in stone? Say if this kind of thing happen, the, the the Nigerian police go necessarily compensate the family of of the girl. Is it something that it is sure, or this nasty conversation where they go carry go court back and forth and uh, and things like that? <laughs> ordinarily, ordinarily, the police after this they don't have mm. the procedure. We say they go do they go gather evidence. Mm -hmm. uh, oral evidence from people where they, where they yes. of course, documented evidence as well. Mm -hmm. Then they go have to listen because even if they catch person, they still they must still ask them questions. Mm -hmm. So they go have to also question the man who killed the girl for them to ascertain a own side of the story. Okay. So after they don't ascertain a own side of the story, they go actually look into all of these things that they call on the merits or the merits of the case against the man. Mm -hmm. or against another person. They have to consider the merits or the merits of the case. So after they don't consider them, um, now then they go to determine the compensation and oftentimes the amount of the compensation. Mm -hmm. What I never feel determined really the, the amount, but I know say some people don't get compensated to the tune of five million uh, way
they lose their family members and all of that. Yeah. But you see, my concern, they say, one is the grant, one is the day grant for this country, where they say, when they're supposed to do certain things, when they're supposed to do certain things, mm -hmm. as in maybe when something happened, they're supposed to compensate people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Instead of to really compensate the people, some people they sit down on top of the matter. Mm. So, so my my own concern as a person, my concern they say, this issue now, is it going to be possible to really make sure say they compensate this person to the point of say at least this person will be say they don't kill their picking so all the consolation where they supposed to get they get and make her take you back to 2012. Okay. Then do try to do nationwide recru recruitment for 2012 when Jonathan did power up into the immigration service. In the course of the first immigration, that time the Minister of the Interior, the Abba Moro, the okay. Abba Moro from Benue. Yes. When they want to do this recruitment exercise, yes, when they want to do this recruitment exercise, the while away the inside, they say some people lose, lose their families back then. So after these people lose their families, they can't say, okay, well, those will lose their families because they're not organized that well. But say, make them give them the employment. Mm -hmm. You know the funny part? After a few months where they don't employ people, the form as I say, them where their family die. The concern be say, they say, they say that When somebody would be security operative, yeah, kill person in the line of duty, yeah, and government find out say not true, no be criminal that should say not innocent citizen. Not innocent person, yeah. Make government they ensure say. This money directly to people, right? so that transparency go day. Hmm. Hmm. So this guy I don't die, that person will die, we no free to get back to life. I lie. But, the, but the one way they are like, we suppose we do something, we go wipe off their tears. Yes, yes. So a, a, a lot of uh, people be they talk say their own concern, their second concern on Dr. this matter now, the police officer will do this situation. Say, in good, would they put, call him to book, waiting they go do to Ram? Because uh, if, he, if he truly, truly uh, do this kind of thing, waiting will happen to this man. Because okay, the ones, I tell you yeah, the ones who we don't hear, they say they go d discharge the person, you know, go the, you know, go the police force again. So people will like, no, what thing they go do and what thing will happen to them? Yes, I won't tell you, see, um, maybe everything about our police also bad. Hmm. Something happened early last year or late 2018, where some police officers on illegal patrol then go kill one innocent boy mm -hmm. with just the watch. With the watch board. With the watch board, you know, yes. They go, yes. go see yeah. how you do your hair. Mm -hmm. With the watch board. They go see how you do your hair, mm. whether you carry dreadlocks. Mm -hmm. They go say, bring your phone, bed and check out. Yeah, check out, yes. So for me, I never see, I never see where the right time say, person will do dreadlocks, that criminal. Mm. I be go just call person and say, searching for you. I never see the law. I never see them at all. If you are investigating somebody, it is different. I never see them. I make I also shock you. One of the all, one of the bad experiences. One of my friend for around Lekki, mm. police nearly kill him because they even force and go a ATM, go collect money. Mm. So for instances where these things, I, I tell you now, I tell you what happened. But you know what happened? God is so kind. Say those will go kill that boy with a watch ball. And the police officers will be say that my friend. Yes. Then carry and go ATM, use gun, say they go shoot them. They were able to arrest them, then dismiss them, and then put them for jail. Okay. So those kind of bad eggs, yes, and they tell you now, police no condone the matter. They were able to trace them. They caught those men, the one way killed those boys, then come out them for police and then put them for jail. So I go mm. commend the Nigerian police for say. They no condone that kind of thing, but they really need to do more. Because don't forget, this country gets maybe if I want to do approximation, maybe about three hundred and eighty-five thousand or three hundred and ninety thousand police officers mm. with the police, two hundred million strong Nigeria. 
So this kind of matter, for instance, uh, you also have to consider, say, police, they understaffed. And because then they understaffed, the strain they do on them to really manage the matter well. Then secondly, they also they under the train because make I tell you one TV station do one documentary yeah. about five years ago or so where they go the police college for Ikeja. Yeah. The place where the police that they, they trained their hostels, it really need a lot of repairs. Mm. In fact, after they do that documentary, the yoga of the police academy, they have to transfer them. Say, why ain't go allow them to come to that kind of documentary for that kind of place? Hmm. So, what you may just try to talk, we say, this one, the Nigeria police, police not the spirits, the police they for us. Yes. So, if police, they suffer or go through some situation, and a media house carry the matter, show public, so that them yoga will fit know their situation, then they're not supposed, they're not supposed to uh, see them as anything bad. Nobody did perfect. All of us, they also move towards getting things right. Mm -hmm. So if the review say police get certain problem, rather than transfer the person, it could make them talk about that. For instance, we remember before the lockdown, uh, um, General Dedi with the, the command theater for Operation Lafayette Dole, yeah. talk about, say, the review from the operation theater about their problem. The week after, I may, I may transfer the man come up for, 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 for theater front. For, yeah. So make, make yes, for so my own be say, make them know the things, say them be spirit. All of us are Nigeria, and then they work hard for us. True. So if certain things they will be say in no good way happen, mistake fit happen. So if we discuss the problem as we did discuss them now. Now that time, then go fit really deal with all this matter because they know they don't be see everything. True. If I say there be 385,000 and Nigerians now 200 million in general, so if you come out 385,000 from that one, that means you still have well over 199 million. They see what then they do. Yeah. So more eyes see the things where they do than the eyes where they get to see what then they do. Hmm. So we hmm. we really believe in them. We believe they should do better, hmm. but they have to do a lot of review of the employment processes, do a lot of review of the training uh, strategies, do a lot of review of the mental check up side of police officers where hmm. they carry gun. Because if you look also, the reason why we see racism they happen for you is that because. Police, they carry gun and they, they keep blacks. Yes. So gun, they confer measure on power on people. Mm -hmm. So that power we're going to confer, if you know if you manage that power well, you go use that many affect people's lives wrongly. So mm -hmm. now my own. Yes, not true. Mm. If you use Armenia. Mm. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Oga Adeni, for your contribution on top of this matter. And we believe, say, as you don't talk all this, uh, give us all these points and all these highlights. We believe, say, as you take the talk and the Nigerian police go look into all these angles where they necessary in the recruitment of uh, the policemen where they give all these guns to. Uh, thank you very much for joining us on top of the Good Morning Nigeria show. And we hope you say we go, if uh, things rise up again, we'll definitely yeah. still uh, call you back okay. and get better conversation. All right. No, no, uh, on top matters. Wait. To enjoy more of this, our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.